This project is a hidden gem and you've got to build it before everyone else does. If you're new, I'm Dev. I got multiple big tech offers before I graduated. I've helped thousands of people land a job and projects, portfolios, and resumes are all I do all day, every day. So what's the project? It's building your own reinforcement learning agent. The same type of AI that beat the world champion at Go. That helps self-driving cars decide when to brake or accelerate. That powers robots in warehouses, trading bots in finance, and even delivery drones. And here's the crazy part. You can build your first RO agent this week, even if you're new to building projects. Let's strip away all the jargon for a second. Reinforcement learning is just teaching an AI to make decisions. You give it a goal, tell it when it's doing well, tell it when it's messing up, and let it figure out the rest on its own. It's basically the hot and cold game that we all played as kids. Except instead of You're getting warmer Your agent gets a reward. And instead of You're getting colder Your agent gets a penalty. Over time, the agent learns which actions rack up its points and which ones tank its score. In this project, your RL agent could be learning how to balance a pole on a cart or cross a frozen lake in the fewest amount of steps. You'll watch it go from totally clueless, failing over and over, to flawless, winning every time. And at the end of the video, I'll even walk you through exactly how to build this project step by step. But before we get there, I need to explain why this project is such a career cheat code. You see, most students are building the same three projects. Chatbots, GBT wrappers, and image classification. Recruiters have seen them a thousand times and they just don't stand out. But an RL agent? That's rare. Even if it's simple, it looks advanced. It sounds advanced. It gives you talking points like, I taught a model how to win a game without even being told the rules. That sounds good in interviews. And here's the other thing. Building this project forces you to understand the core loop of all intelligent systems. Observation, decision, feedback, improvement. That same loop applies whether you're making a robot navigate a warehouse, a bot plan its moves in chess, or even a drone land on a moving platform. So if you have this in your portfolio, you're not just saying, I followed a tutorial. You're the one who built an intelligent agent. Now, let me tell you about Jack. When Jack first came to me, he was drowning in tutorials, PyTorch tutorials, TensorFlow tutorials, Kaggle competitions. He'd finish them, but nothing felt like he was building towards anything unique. He said to me, Dev, I know I need projects, but I have no idea which projects will actually get me hired. I told him about reinforcement learning. His first reaction? Hmm. That sounds scary. So we broke it down, picked the simplest possible environment. One from the OpenAI gym library. In the beginning, his agent was terrible. It would fail after just a few steps and he was ready to quit. But here's where RL is addictive. Every few runs, your agent gets a little better. It learns from its mistakes and before you know it, the progress compounds. By the end of the week, his agent could keep that pole balance for good. He packaged the project into his portfolio with a one minute demo video, a write up on the algorithm and a clean GitHub readme. A month later, he got an email from an Amazon recruiter. I saw your portfolio Video. Loved your RL project. Can we set up a call? The RL project? It was the first thing they asked him about in his interviews. A few weeks later, he got the offer letter. And the wild part? He didn't build 20 projects, just a few, and this was the one that stood out the most. And if you want to follow the exact portfolio building system Jack used, the same templates, breakdowns, resume strategies, it's all inside LLM Liftoff, link in the description. Okay, so how do you actually build this project? Let's keep it super simple. Step one, choose your environment. Environment. Install the gymnasium library, which is the new version of OpenAI Gym. Start with something like Cartpole. It's quick to train and easy to visualize. Step two, decide on your approach. Which RL algorithm do you want to use? PPO, DQN, the list goes on. Step three, define your reward function. Reward the agent for each time step, it keeps the pole upright. Step four, train the agent. This is the fun part. Hit run and watch it fail a lot. But keep going. RL is about lots of trial and error. Step five, watch it master the task. You'll literally see the improvement. Awkward, clumsy attempts turning into smooth, efficient moves. And make sure to record a short clip for your portfolio. Visual proof is gold in interviews. Step six, this is optional, but you could take it even further. Try a new environment and tweak the reward function to see how the behavior changes. Now. Here's what's crazy. This is just one project. If you pair this with two or three other rare AI projects, then you can dominate interviews before you even graduate. And I break down even more AI projects in this video over here. Five AI projects that get you ahead of 99% of students. Remember, if you start now, you'll have these projects built before most students even hear about them. Click here to watch that video now.